Hi there everyone, Lori Baracco here, and I'm looking forward to sharing my predictions for the week of May 9th, 2021. And I do want to take a moment to wish all of the moms, the mom figures, those who have taken on the roles and nurtured us as mothers and, and wise ones who have guided us through the years, wishing all of you a very happy Mother's Day. Okay, so I've got my Rider Way deck here. And I'm going to give the cards a little bit of a shuffle and I'm going to select three and we will see what the collective energies are for us this week. All right, here we go. Okay. So right off the bat, the message I'm getting is for us to allow people to be who they are. How often do you wish you could just change this about that person or you wish that they would get past this certain personality trait or hang up or let stuff go or take life more seriously? It's not really for us to change other people. We are responsible for ourselves. We are not responsible for the karma of other people or their paths. We take it on. How often do we take that on? And it is not good for us. It's not healthy for them. Let's let people be who they are in their own expressions. We have the king of wands. We have the two, excuse me, the lovers reverse, which is a number two, but not in this, not in this situation, but it's a two. So two relationship communication. And then we have the four pentacles. So right off the bat, this guy, this king of swords was speaking loudly and clearly to me saying that, hey, we got to understand where people are coming from and to not be so critical at times of their of how they're living their life and and try not to control them let them be themselves and then we have the this is a stuck card kind of it's the four of pentacles they may be stubborn they may not want to budge let it be have you ever had anyone try to push their opinions on you and try to um, make you be something that you're not and you thought well that doesn't make sense mind your own business right we get offended and we don't who we don't like being told what to do or how to behave and how to react and and so on and so forth so that's kind of the message this week to let people be who they are, mind your own business and tend to your own garden. Yeah, you may be seeing things differently, but it's possible that there's a lot that we're not seeing. And this is also to be flipped as well. We may have a bunch of people coming up to us or one or two people that are wanting to control us and suggest how we should be doing things. Our role is to try not to take that personally, maybe take a look or investigate a little bit of what they're talking about and how we could possibly see, you know, the connection that they're making. And then we get to discern whether they're full of poop or whether there might be some truth to that. Let me just sit with this for a little bit longer. Okay. So let people be who they are. Try not to change people, honor them, hold space. And sometimes we have to take a step back when that happens and vice versa. And it's very possible that we're having that experience because some people are frustrated with us because they they have a different perspective and view on how things should be and they need to be they may need to take a step back from us as well it's all beautiful it's all divine and I'm and I may have shared this quote before but it's you may be the most delicious juiciest peach but there may be someone who doesn't like peaches nor approves of the fact that you are a peach <laughs> all right everyone I'm Lori Baracco I look forward to seeing you soon have a beautiful week namaste